Ruth here, and this is my Crafters Companion haul number 20. It, it's been sitting on my desk for a little bit. So, so long that craft haul number 21 is right next to me. <clears throat> but anyway, I got more in this one than the other one. Let's see. Um, total, including all sales and whatnot. Discounts and whatever. It was £35.28. Hang on, I need to change out my microphone because I got this low battery flashing. So, one second. Luckily, I saw that in the corner of my eye. Otherwise, I might have been talking and I wouldn't have known that my battery was. Anyways, good thing that this camera, this uh, microphone thing I got for Christmas came with two. Anyway, um, what did I say? Yes, £35.28 total. So let's reach in and see what it is without knocking it in. Because I tend to do that these days. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm trying to throw it over there and it's not even good. Okay, so first up, ooh, here is the Wild at Heart Collections Shimmer Ink Pads. Here are the colors. Very nice. <clears throat> Personally, I'm not one for animal print, so I didn't actually get any of this collection, but I did ask if uh, these ink pads were different, and since I do like to kind of collect all the ink pads, then I can't help myself. So, we've got Raspberry, Wild Animal, Pout, Panther, Yas Queen, and Jungle. So that's what that is. And this was on sale, because the original price is $19.99, and I got it for $9.99. I can move this. <clears throat> like that? Maybe. Hmm. So this one's over there. Do a small things first. This is the. I can find it. Sheena Douglas Aluna die, which is the full moon die. On the back. And it's a one little die set. If you wanted the code, there you go. I thought this would be a nice addition to my collection and also for the other spacey things or something. So that's that one. Uh, that one was $4.99. So, to, to continue on with my collection of the sentiment tag stamps, we have it's the thought I'm about to continue there, but that's actually the title. It's the thought. Well, well, it's the thought that counts. And then. This one is called Not a Gift Card, which is, at least, it's not a gift card. Stick. And those two, both, were 89 pence each. Uh, next up... Aha! Here is the Stampin' Die Set 36 piece. Love and Marriage. It um, coordinates with the pop-up confetti cube and confetti box die sets. Available separately? Well, I don't have any of those. 
I mainly got this for the stamps and whatnot. Because I don't really have much of anything of wedding or anniversary styled. What's it called? Styled as stamps. So I wanted to get those for when I make those type of cards. <clears throat> Let's see, um, I saw a couple of roses, XXX, I love you, Mr. and Mrs. Wedding, Valentine's, Happy, and Lindsay Cake, the and symbol, save the date, two wedding rings, picture, marry me, love and kisses, just married, for the new, a lovely flower in the middle, um, that's like some flower design, while it's on the cake, and will you be my bridesmaid? There is too. Yes. Now let me put this up so I can go through. There we go. So that's that one. And that cost. Hmm. Four nine. Four pound forty-nine. The next one is a very nice twelve-piece stamp set. It's the Nature's Garden Fabulous Fu Fabulous Fuchsia Collection. Clear acrylic stamp. Loving thought. And this one was one pound ninety nine. I like the uh, the type of font this is, you know. And like um, it's got very nice ones, like always in our thoughts, wishing you much happiness today and always. I'm so lucky to have you to have a friend like you, sending hugs and happy thoughts. Life is better with you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely to you. Grateful and blessed. You are so special to me. With love. Just to let you know. And uh, wishing you a day of happiness. Oh, those are very nice. Stamps and very lovely script kind of font. Hmm. Yeah. That's sort of all in there, yeah. Well, I'll center it more when I get the cardboard box off to the desk. Okay, um, next up is... There's one other thing before the bundle thing I bought. I mean, two other things, sorry. Two other things. Here is the very lovely Regal Rose. Nine piece. Uh, it's just for making roses, if you couldn't tell. And I don't have any of those uh, flower forming, forming uh, papers or foam. So we'll see what I have, if that will work. Most likely the lower GSM, the better, right? Unless you're going real sturdy flowers, I guess. Maybe. Um, well, <clears throat> um, these ones were two pounds thirty nine. This next thing is five pounds thirty nine, which is the eight point seven five by ten point seven five inches. 20 pack. Let's go down here. Very thick too. Mount boy. I wanted to get this for my puzzle dies, which I haven't been making anything with because I was waiting to get this. It was on sale. As I said, for five pounds thirty-nine, and I think the original price is near. What was it? 
in the teens somewhere. Early teens or late teens. But I wanted to obviously get this for, you know. And the puzzle dies. Now, last but not least, is the bundle. You got three packs in this bundle. You get this out of the way. Okay, that wasn't too loud. Um, There we go. It's not too thingy. Mm, that oh, oops. I'm knocking everything over. Okay, can I put that there without a phone? Okay. Okay, what we have is the A6 envelope card and envelope bundle. So it says, <clears throat> like for this one, is the A6 white card and envelopes, 100 piece. So it is A6 card blanks, 250 GSM, 50 piece, and A6 envelopes, 100 GSM, 50 piece. So 100 in total, but 50 of each. So we have that in white. And she's in craft. Uh, Oh, it's brown. And then it is in mixed pastel. This is really Easter colors. They are pre scored card, card lengths, so you can sort of tell. You can sort of see it, kind of. But I love it. I thought it'd be very nice to make cards that I didn't have to make envelopes for, you know? Like, the card I made for Dad. I didn't bother making an envelope because it was, I didn't want to bother to make an envelope. But these ones, you got envelopes with them, so it's great. And so we got some craft, some white, and some mixed pastel. All card blanks, 250 GSM, and all envelopes are 100 GSM. So in total, is 50, 100, 150, I can make 150 cards, that comes with 150 envelopes. That's very nice. And that cost me 15 pounds. I can't tell whether that is... Mm. So I got this instead of getting the one from Amazon, which is that UK craft whatever brand. But, uh, yeah, I think when I calculated it, this was cheaper at the time, maybe? But who knows anymore? I certainly can't remember. So, yes. Now I can make some cards, and I did actually make some card panels. But we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Oh wait a minute, I just found... This is where it went. There's like a little straw from something I cut off. I was doing a resin mini food thing. I cut off an extra piece of the straw and kind of flew somewhere and I never actually found it until now. Okay. Anyway, so yes. That's everything. Um, yeah. I'll swatch these and put them with the rest of the inks. I actually redid my organization again. So instead of having them in the Crafters Companion um, binders, I put all of the dies in my filing cabinet. I'm debating whether to put the stamps that coordinate with the dies with the dies. Or keep them in, like, these fab files are right next to me, you know? So I'm not sure. I mean, it'd be much faster than having to go there for the stamps and go there for the dies. And have all in one thing. I might do that. 
I need to get maybe purple pocket, but I've got um I'm using you know the two pocket poly pocket album you know kind of grade sleeves. Uh but we'll see. As they say, yeah, it's always evolving when you're storing things and whatnot. But anyway, I am looking forward to this. And you know, all of this is. And I'm making a puzzle somehow. Obviously it's more like either a printed or a stamped image that I stick on. With like double sided tape or something. Like I don't know if I actually have a sheet, but I can probably layer you know, or just put the double sided tape side by side so it would stick on and when it's die cut it won't thing because when it goes through the die cut machine it'll flatten hopefully flatten to the mount board and not come off. But I'd have to really tape it down like every inch of it so it won't curl up or anything. But look forward to that, I guess. We'll see. So I didn't get it for the purpose of maybe giving gifting or selling a puzzle or something, hopefully. We'll see. And yeah. So this is Craft. Craft's Canadian. Hall number 20. And that's it. Hall number 21 is really short because it's basically maybe three or four items inside. So it'll be a very short video next video. So thank you for watching. And, I don't know, which is your favorite thing? Because, like, I quite like the shimmering pets, because they're all sparkling. Yeah? I like the full moon thing. And, and the rose. Yeah. Well, I kind of like all of them, because, you know, I bought them, so. I don't like it, I don't buy it, you know, so. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> so, over. Right.